What's up, YouTube? We're about to go MC an entertainment forum for the Scouts, which we're really excited about. We're gonna show you that next week, but before that, we want you to check out five tips on how to talk to anybody that we pulled straight from our boot camp. We raise our heads up to the sky. concept that I think is most important in having these amazing conversations is this idea of conversational hooks. Mm -hmm. We talked about this yesterday, this idea that conversational hooks are opportunities for us to add to the conversation. And with these hooks, what we want to do is layer them into our responses so that we're sharing more. It doesn't have to be crazy vulnerability, but we want to be sharing more within the start of that conversation to make it engaging. And we also want to be listening for other people's emotional hooks. And this is a concept we've, we've covered here on the show, emotional bits. For anyone who wants to get better at anything, the first place that they have to look first is themselves. And every time that I hear that my conversations fall flat or I'm not able to get out of small talk, to me it's always like, well then, what are you doing wrong? And when we start paying better attention in conversation, we're gonna start hearing other people's conversational hooks and their emotional bits, mm -hmm. their attempts at connection. Now these are both verbal and nonverbal. So you can imagine prolonged eye contact, touching you, uh, having great energy and adding that smile to the conversation are all emotional bits. The other person's trying to connect with you. And a lot of times when we're focused on ourselves, we're focused on our own body language, we're not reading these signals, the conversation can fall flat. When it comes to conversations, there is one topic we can all discuss for days, months, years. It is ourselves. So a good question is about the other person. It is picking their favorite conversational topic. What are you? How are you? Why are you? The how and why questions are deeper. These how and why questions are my conversation resuscitator. When you feel the conversation is done, Maybe because you were distracted, you weren't present, you weren't fully listening, you don't know what else to say, you run out of everything you know about that residential property, about that real estate venture, and now you're just like, uh, what do I do next? How and why are like those paddles that the paramedic has bring us back to life? How and why questions will resuscitate a conversation. I'm listening with my eyes and my ears when I'm talking to someone. This is key. A lot of us don't realize that when we are making eye contact with someone when we're talking, not only are we holding their attention, but we can pick up on their emotional state before they respond. So imagine, I ask you, hey, what are you drinking? And you go, or I ask you, hey, what are you drinking? And you go, I haven't said anything, but those are two entirely different responses. You couldn't pick up on those responses unless you were making eye contact. We feel that other people don't think we're listening or don't think we care unless we're fully facing them and fully committed to the interaction. This is positive body language. When you're fully facing one another torso to torso, this creates tension. This is neutral body language. When you're actually shoulder to shoulder, the best way to view this is by looking at your feet. You should notice that your feet are pointing in the same direction as the person you're talking to instead of directly facing each other. Positive body language causes tension, often leading to us crossing our arms because we don't feel comfortable. We often don't realize when our body language is making someone else feel uncomfortable. Touch is punctuation. Touch should never distract from what you're saying. You catching this, you digging this, touch builds trust. And typically, the first person to touch is the most assertive, is the leader. So we want to initiate touch. All right, I hope you guys all learned something. These are the techniques that we've been using and teaching at the Art of Charm for the last 10 years. And if you wanna brush up on your social skills and amplify all of those conversations, Check us out, we run boot camps in Hollywood to help you with just that. Go ahead and click the link in the top right corner up above to get some more information. We're gonna head back to the event now to put some of those skills to work. See you guys. Be free.